Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Steinauer. I don't know about you, but I am super excited that it is now time for flowers and plants and color. Planting flowers is one of the things that I absolutely love to do. And I wait all winter long in anticipation for spring and summer. I have this really large planter that I planted bulbs in about a month ago, but they never came up. I showed it to my husband the other day and he said, well, they haven't had enough sunshine yet, which is true. We all know that in addition to water, plants need warmth and they need sun. It's been said that sunshine is to plants what God's love is to the human soul. And that made me think a little deeper on the love of God and how his love is so great for us. That even when we fail, even when we mess up in life, He loves us unconditionally, and He desires relationship with each and every one of us. His love for us is so great that we as humans can't even fully comprehend it. Ephesians 3 verses 18 to 19 says, May you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to fully understand. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Just as plants need sunshine, people need to know the love of God. I am on the leadership team for a nonprofit called Awaken Us Ministries. And this past weekend, I was at Awaken Us 22 in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. And I had the opportunity to pray for many, many people. And let me tell you, people are broken. Some people have had really awful things happen to them in life. They faced heartbreak and bad situations, addictions, anxieties. They may put a smile on their face and go about their life. They may even come to your church every Sunday, but they are broken, they're hurt, and they're afraid. This week, I simply want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to love others. Jesus said in John 15, 12, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. You know, with Jesus as our example, let's love other people. It doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter what they've done. It doesn't matter if you don't agree with their lifestyle. It doesn't even matter where they came from. All that matters is that they are a child of God and God loves them passionately. As a child of God, you are the hands and feet of Jesus. You are his representative here on earth, children of the King, offspring of the one who loves perfectly. Today, I want to encourage you to love others in a way that you never have before. Make a decision today to talk to people that you don't know, to put your cell phone down and smile at someone. Have a conversation with a stranger. Show someone that you don't even know that you love them anyway. The Bible says that you are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, Christian, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. So today, I just want to encourage you to be God's sunshine to someone around you and let your light shine for Him. And I will talk to you again next week.